Welcome to This Week on Xbox. I'm Jeff Rubenstein, filling in for Xbox Live's Major Nelson. He's, he's probably on a beach somewhere. Have fun, Larry. This week's episode features Xbox news for E3 2018, the second half of April's Games with Gold, a free play opportunity for Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, and much, much more. All right, let's get to the headlines. How about we kick things off with a little sneak peek at what you can expect from Xbox at E3 2018. Team Xbox will be kicking things off with the Xbox E3 2018 briefing, which you can watch live, beginning on Sunday, June 10th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, that's 1 o'clock Pacific, on the official Xbox Mixer channel or on the Mixer app for Xbox One. The day after the briefing, Inside Xbox Live at E3 will air, that's Monday, June 11th, followed by Mixer live streams all day from E3 starting Tuesday, June 12th, lasting all the way through Thursday, June 14th. We also release details on how you can be one of 400 lucky people to experience Xbox Fan Fest on June 10th and 11th, or be one of 1,000 people to win your way into the Xbox briefing. Be sure to visit news.xbox.com for the full details. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is hosting a free play days opportunity for Xbox Live Gold members now through April 22nd. Just visit the Gold Member feature area on the Xbox Live Home Dashboard or search for the game on the Microsoft Store to download and play the full Xbox Game Preview version of this Battle Royale mega hit. A new Star Wars Battlefront 2 mode called Ewok Hunt was added to the game this week. Don't worry, you're not actually hunting Ewoks. You start out as an Ewok or in a group of stormtroopers. The battle begins as the Ewoks start attacking these stormtroopers and oh my god, these these are kind of scary Ewoks. I actually feel bad for the stormtroopers. They're using spears, wisties, whatever else is available to take down the Empire invaders. The best part is every stormtrooper defeated spawns as another Ewok. If the Empire's forces are defeated, the Ewoks win and their celebration can begin. I don't know if you can hang with these Ewoks. A new trailer for the Elder Scrolls Online Somerset released this week and offers us a glimpse of what's to come. The pre-order for Elder Scrolls Online Somerset is available and gets you the Nightmare Cinch Mount, a bonus copy of the Morrowind chapter, plus the Queen's Bounty Pack and unique digital rewards. Somerset will be available on Xbox One June 5th. You finally got that victory royale, but can you do it in front of a crowd? Well, you're gonna get your chance beginning this week. Microsoft Store announced Fortnite Friday's Community Nights, where you can play Fortnite Battle Royale in person every Friday. The events kick off today, April 20th, from 5.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. local time. Visit Xbox Wire for more details about joining the fun at your local Microsoft Store. The Un-Halloween Horror Spectacular Sale is running now through April 23rd. You can save up to 70% on games like Friday the 13th The Game, Dead by Daylight, Outlast 2, Hello Neighbor, Layers of Fear, and many more. There are 48 horror games on sale, so head on over to the Microsoft Store to check them out and never sleep again. I Hope is out now. This is a game about battling cancer and 100% of the proceeds are being donated to Game Changer Charity to support children in hospitals and their families. It's a great story, make sure you pick it up. The game follows a young girl named Hope who lives peacefully with her grandpa on an island floating in the clouds. That is, until a dark monster called Cancer attacked and destroys her village and surrounds the other islands with its evil tentacles. Your mission is to travel these islands to free their creatures and acquire the weapons needed to defeat cancer. It's a great story and a really great cause. That first big batch of new original Xbox games hit the backward compatibility library this week. Now you can enjoy Blinks the Time Sweeper, Breakdown, Conquer Live and Reloaded, The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind, Hunter the Reckoning, Jade Empire, Panzer Dragoon Orta, and SSX3. That's like 10,000 hours of gaming right there. So if you've got one of these discs hanging around, just dust it off, pop it in and play. But if you don't own the game, no worries. You can purchase all eight games digitally in the Microsoft Store. The second half of April's Games with Gold are now available. If you're an Xbox Live Gold member, then you can download Assassin's Creed Syndicate and Dead Space 2 for free. 
The Witness is still available to download until April 30th, so please check that one out. One of the best games of the generation. The April update for Forza Motorsport 7 arrives today, bringing brand new features, fixes, and improvements based on community feedback. One of the big updates is the ability to test drive cars in multiplayer lobbies. On top of that, a new collection of vehicles were added to the game with the K1 Speed Car Pack. Visit the site below for more details. Monster Hunter World released a new update this week, which introduces the new Kolv Teroth Siege Quest. Now, this is a collaborative effort, don't even think of soloing it, where each hunting party will split off into groups of up to four hunters and work together to hunt down the elder dragon Kolv Teroth. There are some powerful siege rewards waiting for you, so jump on it while you can. Phantom Trigger is now available. This is a genre-blending, neon-infused RPG slasher that lets you trap, freeze, and burn enemies. What else would you want to do to your enemies? Plus, it's an Xbox Play Anywhere title, so you can play it on your Xbox, you can play it on your PC, and the saves are gonna go back and forth. The latest update for Smite is here. The update features the Inner Demon Arena, which drops you into a perilous battleground filled with a legion of demonic serpents. What's your objective? Pretty simple, knock, push, or hurl your enemies into the arena's deadly pools. Every battle culminates in a sudden death match and only the best will survive. A new max level dungeon called Ruinous Manor is now available for Terra. This free to play RPG only just released, but the addition of this old ruin is filled with monsters and loot. It's already a great ad for a brand new game. Quick tip, stay on the lookout for soul spheres as you'll need to intercept them before they reach the edge of the combat area and unleash their true power. Terra is free to play on Xbox One, so hey, check it out, doesn't cost you anything. Time for the Community Minute. Hey Xbox gamers, Malik here, and it is time for another Community Minute. Now, as with all competitive games, the longer it's been out, the harder it can be to jump in, and that may certainly be the case with PUBG. Well, fret not, as Xbox Ambassador and MVP Scratch is here to get you going with three basic tips that may help you taste the well-seasoned deliciousness of a chicken dinner. This is Scratch with three tips to help improve your PUBG game. Number one, vehicle management. Make sure to disable vehicles on your way to the circle to prevent other players from making it. This also works, of course, on players who are busy looting. Tip number two is practice dropping in hot areas so you can get used to combat. Make sure to drop straight down to get the highest possible speed and beat your enemies to the ground. You don't want your first encounter with a player to be in the end game where it matters. Plus, if you win, you should leave with some pretty good loot. Tip number three is something I like to call running the pinch. In the end game, try to stick to the blue wall and run into the area where the circle is closest to the blue. This will allow you to focus on a smaller area looking for enemies. Don't be afraid to use your hot drop skills from tip number two and with a little practice and some circle luck, you'll bring home the chicken dinner. Some pretty good tips there. And not to toot my own horn, but I am at the top of my friend leaderboard with the most solo chicken dinners, so no big deal. Anyway, stay tuned for more Community Minute segments where we highlight the all-around awesomeness of you, the Xbox gamers. We'll see you next time. Did you know that you can create a personal passkey on your Xbox One console to help keep your account information secure and it goes with you when you use any other Xbox One console? Simply head to Settings, choose Account, and select Sign In, Security, and Passkey. Then select Create My Passkey, and enter a six digit passkey. Don't do one, two, three, four, five, six. They'll figure it out. You re enter the passkey, you confirm, and you're all set. Well, that's it for this week. We'll see you next week for an all new episode. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.